All right. So the acoustic bass in Trillion is something we're really proud of. Uh, Trilogy was well known for its acoustic bass, and of course that acoustic bass is, is in here, but frankly, I think we kind of blew that acoustic bass out of the water. This new one is amazing. And uh, incredibly detailed sampling. This is actually the most difficult sample uh, sound we've ever done. Uh, by far. We, it took months and months of the entire team working on this. Uh, it's very, very complicated. We, uh, we did a little tallying yesterday to see uh, how many samples were in this base. And I knew it was a lot, but I was blown away when they told me that there are over 21,000 samples in this one instrument. So this is pretty insane. <laughs> and um, and th that's, that's one of the reasons why it sounds so great. It's because it's just super, super detailed. So what, we, what we've got here is we have uh, different types of uh, sustains, first of all, that we've done. And so we have clean sustains. So that's just a very straight ahead. vibrato, and that's real good for kind of a straight ahead walking kind of stuff. Then we have vibrato sustains, where there's a little bit of vibrato. And then we have um, character sustains, which are uh, more growly and a little more attitude, a little closer to the uh, to the body of the instrument. So you have those three kinds of sustains. And what we did is in the main sound, we combined them all. And we did that same trick of they're very, very closely spaced. So when you play a note, you really never know exactly what you're going to get, just like on a real instrument. So, so if I play soft like that, I might get a... No vibrato. There's a little bit of a vibrato note. It's another clean one. And then if I hit it hard, I've got one of the character notes. Thank you. Um, so let me uh, let me bring this uh, high end up a little bit here, and bring a little bit of the pickup in. And you can hear with the um, legatos too. If I play legato. too because we, we actually went all the way up to G. So and we've got the same kind of setup with all of the um, articulations. So I can very easily change to harmonics or staccato notes. The release noises are extremely detailed. Uh, every when you let go of the key, it's the actual, actually letting go of that string on the bass. And every time you let go of it, you have a different release sample. So. You might get a little squeak or that kind of sound. So 
So that's really uh, powerful because it, it gives you, it's really never the same. Listen to the round robins. See if you can hear it. See if you can pick out the same note. is like impossible on samples, right? right? Playing the same note over and over and over, that's like death. It's Seinfeld, yeah. right? <laughs> and um, so now you can really, you can really do that because it's always sounded good when you play from one note to another, you know, like. That sounds good even on, the, on, on um, any kind of acoustic bass sample, but not. control uh, and I can access it you know that quickly so um, yeah so it's really it's a lot of fun to play there's your X notes so you can do things like and same thing if you hit So you can hear when you when you're when I really hit it, you hear some of that like the woods breaking kind of sound, but when a acoustic bass player plays that happens but you don't want it all the time so that's what's so cool about this new uh, steam engine and the fact that we can do this complex uh, round robins and uh, dynamic legato uh, because we can we can now really put the subtlety in uh, that was that was missing before so yeah so we're really proud of this this is a new uh, acoustic bass It's actually four channels of the bass it's two different microphones and two different pickups and you can mix and match them, and it's presented in two different sets of basses. So that's a little bit of the new acoustic bass. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.